Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. We're going to do receivers. Uh, today we're predicting stats. My last video I did a defensive lineman. Had some very nice predictions there. Today we're going to do the receivers. And we're just going to talk about kind of last season. Obviously Michael Thomas didn't play. Jarvis Landry is a new addition. Chris Olave is a new addition. So guys like Callaway, Trey Quan Smith, Deontay Hardy, uh, Troutman got more reps you know, at those positions. But this year is going to be a lot different. And we'll just jump right into it, man. We'll start off this with probably Jawan Johnson. Last year, he had 13 catches, 158 yards, and four touchdowns, man. This year, I think the numbers will go down. It's a lot of pass options out there for the Saints this year. So, I don't think he'll get that much playing time. So, I predict him to have 10 catches, 140 yards, and two touchdowns. Next up, we'll go with Adam Troutman. Last year, 27 catches, 263 yards, two touchdowns. I think he'll be tight in two behind Taysom Hill. Maybe it'll be Jawan Johnson. Maybe it'll be Crawl. We don't know that, but we're just going to pretend he is for now. And I do predict him to have 25 catches, 215 yards, and two touchdowns. So just a, a solid tight end two for him, nothing crazy. Um, he's tight end one days are over, in my opinion. And then last but not least, at the tight end position, Taysom Hill, first time being a full-time tight end. I think it's going to take him some time to kind of get used to it. Uh, he's probably going to be playing multiple roles again as well. But this year, I do predict him to have 39 catches, 450 yards, and five touchdowns as the tight end one for the Saints. You know, and that's the unit for those tight ends. That's going to be great. They'll, they'll put together about 70 catches, uh, a little under 1,000 yards, so probably under 10 touchdowns. That'll be great for a tight end as a unit. We're not going to have the Travis Kelsey's, the Gronks, the, the George Kittles, and things like that. So we're going to have to, you know, use these guys as a unit. And I think that those guys will have a very good year for the Saints at the tight end position. So that's my prediction for them. Let me know what y'all got for him. Hey, yo, click that subscribe button, man. Turn those notifications on, and you won't miss another video from the Boot Tragedies. First up for receivers, this one's going to be short and sweet. We'll kind of talk about last year. Traquan Smith, 50 targets, won't even see close to that this year. 32 catches, 337 yards, and three touchdowns. I think his time as a Saint is basically over. The receiver room is too, too deep for him to even get out there and make an impact on his team. So I predict him having 11 catches, 120 yards, no touchdowns this season. I don't think he'll be a factor in this system at all this year. Deontay Hardy is next up on the list. Obviously a great returner. Got to play receiver uh, a lot more last year. Obviously, a lot of guys being now MT. We're bringing a lot of guys in, getting some time at the receiver position. And he had a pretty solid year, man. He was honestly probably our most consistent receiver last year. Uh, finished with 59 targets, 36 catches, 570 yards, three touchdowns. I think losing Jameis Winston uh, hurt him the most out of anyone just because he's a deep threat. And making the guys we had playing quarterback, Ian Book, Trevor Simeon, and Taysom Hill, that really isn't their strong suits. And that's, uh, you know, one of Winston's best strong suits. But this year, a lot of guys, you know, in that receiver room this year, I do predict he'll have 30 catches, 600 yards. So the catches and yardage is probably going to be around the same. I think he'll have more yardage just because Winston is there. I think his catches will be down because of the reps. But I do think he'll finish the year with five touchdowns. I can definitely see him every, you know, couple games catching a deep shot for a touchdown. Uh, if you remember against the Packers, he had one super early in the season. So I definitely think we'll see a lot of those, you know, this year from um, Winston and, and Deontay. I think he'll have a solid year as, you know, re receiver three, four, five, depending on, you know, where he falls in the depth chart. He'll definitely get playing time because you definitely need deep threats out there. Next, we're going to move on to Marquez Callaway, who I think will be in a wide receiver four role this year. I think him and Deontay Hardy will split time at that, uh, you know, wide receiver four role this year. Last year, he had a good year, man. He played with basically every quarterback that's possible to play with. He was our most consistent true receiver. Like I said, Deontay Hardy is going to be more of a deep threat this year. Callaway had a solid year, man. He had a real, real solid year for an undrafted guy. We put too much expectations on this guy to be receiver number one, and he was just never going to live up to that. But... He finished the season with 84 targets, 46 catches, 698 yards, and six touchdowns for an undrafted guy thrown into the fire with four different quarterbacks. I think he played a you know a hell of a season last year. This year, I do think his numbers will be down uh, just because, like I said, he's receiver four. You're going from receiver one to receiver four. You just can't keep that up. But I do think he'll have around 38 catches, 35. I think I put 35 catches down, 580 yards, and about four touchdowns. I think that's going to be a, a super solid season. For the um, you know, wide receiver four on this team. I think the yardage will kind of stay up just because these guys' yardage will stay up just because Jameis Winston will be back. All this is assuming Jameis Winston is there for the entire season. He can stretch the field, so these guys would uh, definitely have more opportunities to you know uh, run deep routes, especially with Jarvis Landry, Olave, MT working underneath, Deontay Hardy, um, Marquez Keller will definitely uh, have more shots going deep this year. 
Now it's time for the meat and potatoes. Um, obviously, we got three guys left. We're going to start with Jarvis Landry. Coming from the Browns last year, you know, playing with Baker Mayfield. I think Baker Mayfield was out for a couple games as well. He had a solid season, 87 targets, 52 catches, um, 570 yards, and only two touchdowns. I think he'll have a better season this year. But I don't think it'll be as great as some people may think. Just because him and Michael Thomas, I promise you, they play kind of the same role in those intermediate, those short routes. But I do think he'll have a solid season for us. He'll just he'll bring much more than just you know his on-field play for the Saints. But this year, I have him having 49 catches, 510 yards, and five touchdowns. I know people may think that's crazy. Uh, he'll have a better season than that, but I just don't see it. Not saying that he's bad by any means, but with Michael Thomas coming back, Chris Olave, you're going to still have Marquez Callaway with a decent role, Kamara out the backfield. It's just not a lot of catches. Everyone can't finish the year with 80, 90 catches. It's just not going to happen. So someone has to, you know, not take a back seat, but someone has to, you know, take a hit in their numbers. I think it will be Jarvis Landry, but I do think he'll be super, super effective. We'll go to him on third down in big situations. But I think throughout the season, throughout the game, they're going to try to keep him healthy, keep him fresh. So his production won't be as big in the grand scheme of things, but he'll still be very, very important to this team. Finally, man, we get to get to Michael Thomas. It feels like a long time I've been talking stats and football with him. It's always been something else. And obviously, Michael Thomas didn't have any stats last year. Uh, the year before that, he finished with like 40 catches, was injured, only played like five games. Then obviously, the year before that, NFL record in receptions. So, it's definitely kind of hard to predict him coming off injury. I know the Saints will be careful with him, but I think he'll be 100%. And I think Michael Thomas will be Michael Thomas. I have him predicted at 95 catches. 1,200 yards and eight touchdowns. That's basically, it's like middle of, of the pack year for him. I think with a year and a half off of football, he won't come back as that 140 catch guy, you know, 14, 1,500 yards, anything like that. But I do think he'll have 95 catches, 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns. I think that's a super solid year from him. Probably going to win comeback player of the year if he puts up these numbers. I think him and Winston both will have a, a chance to win that award. So I do think Michael Thomas will be in the driver's seat uh, for that award if he comes back and produces at the level I think he will produce at. And last, but certainly not least, Chris Olave. Obviously, we traded up to get him in the first round, man. He's going to be a stud. Sometimes, you know, I was getting carried away. I, I was thinking about this the entire time of, you know, what should I put for stats? Obviously, he's going to have a chance to win Rookie of the Year because it's no quarterbacks this year. So the receivers are just going to be top-heavy. Him, Garrett Wilson, uh, Jamison Williams would have had a chance, but he's probably going to be hurt to start the year. So it's probably going to be the Ohio State guys, some other guys. Uh, I can't remember who the Chargers drafted. Not the Chargers, the Titans. Uh, Trey Burke from Arkansas. It's going to be some receivers with a chance to win the uh, Rookie of the Year for offensive guys. So I think Olave is going to have a really, really good shot. I would assume he's going to be second in the rankings um, to start the list. But... Obviously, last year he had no stats because he wasn't with the Saints. And I looked at, this one was tough. I looked at some of the best rookie, you know, receiving years of all time, which crazy enough, most of those years were uh, Jamar Chase, Odell Beckham, and Justin Jefferson, all LSU guys. So those guys finished with around, you know, between 80 catches, 1,400 yards. Jamar Chase was on the high side with 13 touchdowns. Jefferson on the low side with eight. And I think he'll be somewhere around there. He won't have 13 touchdowns like Chase, but I do think he'll have around the 80 catch mark. I'll put him down for 79 catches, 1,375 yards. I think he'll finish with eight touchdowns. I think that will be good enough to win him rookie of the year. If he puts these numbers up, I just don't see Garrett Wilson, you know, putting those numbers up with, with the Jets. I just, just don't see it at all. Uh, and the other guys, I just don't see him putting up numbers that Olave will put up, I think, the first couple weeks. He'll be receiver three behind Jarvis, and I think he'll just let loose. Once he gets it, he'll get it, and he'll just be, you know, flying. Because I think they'll depend on him a lot. He's one of the first receivers in a long time where I think he's a three, a three, th three threat. Excuse me, receiver where I mean screen game, uh, short game, intermediate game, uh, and long game. Screen game and short games kind of combined there. So I think he can, you know, beat you on all three levels. And I think that's going to be really, really good for this offense for Jameis Winston. Depending on how fast he comes into the system, the sky is the limit for him. I think he'll end up having the best numbers, you know, for us. But I think in those important situations, you know, third downs, big play moments, Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry will take, you know, uh, those players from him. But I do think he'll have a great rookie season. I'm expecting him to be in conversations for rookie of the year. And that'll wrap up the receivers slash tight ends, man. The Saints are going to have a lot, a lot of pass weapons, you know, this year. So some of these numbers might take a hit just because we probably will spread the ball around. And also, we don't know how Pete Carmichael is going to call this. He could be a super uh, run-heavy, you know, coach. Who knows what he's going to do? I'm just going to assume it's going to be close to Sean Payton. But after all, man. 
That's the receivers. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Drop some predictions uh, in the comments as well. Man, as always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.